Hey guys, I'm Nagadachin, and welcome to my reaction for Tower of God, chapters 32 and 33. Well, still continuing with the um, Flower of Zigena, but we kind of met an unexpected guest person, well, which seems kind of bad. I mean, he was kind of nice, but given the situation, not good. <laughs> yeah, so now Bam is kind of forced to fight him because he's part of FUG and he cannot do anything else. He needs to climb the tower, not only because he wants to meet Rahel again, but also he must climb the tower because FUG wants him to kill Jihad. They want to use him. He's probably the only one they have at the disposal right now who can do it and if he won't climb the tower they will be killing his friends so yeah basically bam is against the wall and he cannot do anything else it's either trying to fight greg mazino or just going away and letting fug killing his friends so not the best situation Sadly, we'll see how this will continue. Yeah, oh my. I am nervous. <laughs> so, starting to read it right now. Okay, so they're still standing here, looking at each other, with all of these weird centipede creatures lying down. Poor things! I cannot really feel solid. I kind of really feel sorry for them. Yeah, at least now we can finally see him. He has a nice eyes. I'll give him that. I would really give him that. So, Prince, let's go. Huh? He still doesn't understand the situation? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, some people just can get the grasp of the situation. Can get into a fight that I know I'll lose. We are getting out of here. Lord Devil. Lord Devil? <laughs> yeah, he's going away. He is clearly the cleverest one, right? I mean, yeah, that would be very stupid to try and fight a wreck. Bam is going in, and even though he's also irregular, they probably don't know it. Probably only Wang Nan knows it. But I'm... now I don't really remember. I know she told him about his friends, but I don't know if she told him about being irregular. We'll see. Maybe not, maybe... No, I don't remember. Well, doesn't matter. He is strong. So they're like, yeah, I guess he can fight, try, whatever. And now, the two men are all alone here. Oh, yeah, that was the mooing. In a few minutes, this again I will flip its body. It won't be fun to just fight. Should we play a game, boy? Okay, so I guess now we have a more chance if he doesn't want to just fight, I guess. If it is some kind of crazy game, okay. But still, better than just straightforwardly fight because then he would probably just easily kill him. The Zygena's flower you are looking for is up there. We'll fall on it as the Zygena flips its body. Oh, really? If you get that flower before I get you, I'll give you the flower. But if I catch you, I will take your life. Wangnan! Wangnan! Wangnan's team! We need you to work very fast. Missing is missing. Missing, come on! You need to be freakingly fast. Dude! <laughs> I mean, I get it, he's probably extremely fast, so he probably thinks it won't be that easy for Bam. Still, if he would just fight him, he would probably just kill him easily. 
But I guess he's like, eh, I mean, I'm kind of bored. Let's have fun. Good lord that all these strong people are like this. At least some we met. Right? Underestimating everyone and just wants to have fun. Ha ha ha. Because if they would just fight us, we would be dead. I hope everyone else is like this. Probably not, but at least Rack is. He is, he is even willing to give the flower. <laughs> Got it. All right, then let's begin the game as the Zigana flips, boy. Okay, so we can chill now for a little, I assume. Lord Devil, Lord Devil, are we really, are we really leaving? Are we really leaving him by himself? I think you would be just in a way. He still doesn't understand how strong that man is. You would be in a way, Prince. It's so selfish to run away, Prince. Yes? Send we all as location to everyone right now. Huh? Okay, what are you planning? That hole crosses through the Zigana's body. When the Zigana flips, they'll fall. They follow right to where our teammates are. And that's when we'll attack together. Oh. So he's planning to count up for a surprise attack. Not a bad thought. Because meanwhile, Reg Mazino is going to be thinking about Bam and doing stuff about Bam. We can take opportunity and do a surprise attack. I mean, I was thinking about it, maybe if all of them would try, but I still don't really think that is possible. But hey, they might catch him, surprise him, catch him off guard and surprise him. Yeah, that happens a lot, because rankers and very strong people are always underestimating regulars. Yeah, that, that might happen, a little bit of surprise, surprise. Which then we can take opportunity of it and just run away or, you know, something. Send a message. Come right now. Oh, I knew it, Lord Devil. What are you thinking about, Prince? What the hell are you thinking about? Now hurry. Yes, sir. <laughs> Prince, I, I, I don't think you understand what is going on, sadly. Okay, meanwhile here... Yeah, he also said a craptor. Called a craptor. What is happening? And now? What? A location transmission. It's Prince. Come as soon as possible to the transmitted location. Viola is in danger? Okay. So it's kinda like regrouping. I'm trying to catch Mazina off guard. What the glasses? I got it too. I think Viola's location is a straight shot from here. It's not that far. I'll scan the way right now. Okay, they are actually very close. I still have a bad feeling. I mean, uh, Ureg is like, yeah, just have a game. But like, he still might kind of kill them if they would attack him like that. Depends on his mood, I assume. If they would get a Zigena flower. He might let him go because he might be like, hmm, these people are not actually not actually that bad. Might be fun, hmm, hmm, potential maybe, hmm. But it's dangerous. Okay, hurry. All right. So they're rushing there. They're still waiting. Shall we talk for a minute while we wait for the fight, FUG member? Oh, I'm definitely for the talking. Friendly chit chat, please. I want to know more. Give me some valuable information. Shins. I know a bit about you guys. Isn't it your goal to take over Jihad's throne? Well, I guess that's logical. Not Bams, though. He kind of is stuck with them, sadly. I don't know what you have against him, but his position must seem awfully tempting for those of you who have always lived in the tower. 
That's why you are trying so hard to get that position. I mean, uh, not bam, but for the others, living in a tower kinda sucks. It's kinda easy for you because you are so strong. <laughs> for others, it sucks. They just want to change things, maybe, or be at power. But I'm not interested in that. Hmm, makes sense. What's the fun in being the king of the tower? That boring position belongs to Jihad. Okay, I will... He seems to be interested in something else. I mean, yeah, not all people are like, yeah, I wanna be king at the power or whatever. Like, being a king despite Jihad is doing a lot of shit, there is a lot of things to do. And you have a lot of enemies and, you know, it's kinda annoying. A lot of the stuff you need to do and a lot of responsibilities and maintain order of all the things and like, you know, that's probably a lot. <laughs> things to you must do as a king or even King Jihad, I don't really know. But like, not all people are for that. But what do you want to do? Leave the tower. Oh. Actually, that's a nice goal. Like, he got in. I guess he found out that there's probably nothing interesting to him anymore. Who knows how long he lived. And he's like, I wanna go out. Why not? That's interesting goal, actually. There is a huge world out there. Well, it is, indeed. There is an endless sky, and numerous stars that illuminate the night. It's a place millions of times more expensive than the tower and rear too. I mean, yeah, people are just stuck here, right? This goal is very good too. It's kinda beyond tower. Like, FUG are like, yeah, we were born in tower, so they are kinda okay with thinking of being still in the tower. Not trying to get out of it, right? Just changing the form of power so they would be the ones holding the power. But because Urek is irregular, he came from outside of the tower. And he's like, hey, I know how it is outside. I assume I don't know like from where all the irregulars are coming from. That's a good question, though. But they probably got in pretty young. Right? Can't somehow we are in. And like being in st being stuck in tower. Yeah, must feel suffocating. Probably. Like it's huge. But the world outside it is probably, yeah, way bigger. There is everything which here is not. Even though, I don't know like how is the world outside the tower. Like, because there is a Shinsu, which is like specific for tower, would a strength and power work outside of it? The way it works in here? Probably not, if there is not a Shinsu, right? Doesn't thinking that such a place really exists make what you guys want seem so trivial? It kinda is. They're not thinking outside the tower. Yeah. Wouldn't it be better to just like leave it, get out of it? But then, FEG would not have a power they would have if they would kill Jihad and would install themselves a new form of power. So maybe that's what they would be satisfied with. I don't know, I don't need stars, a crown or a sky. But if someone is trying to hurt those who are precious to me, yeah, like, Bam is not doing this for these kind of things. He only cares about his friends. He just sadly God makes into all of this. Which... Urek doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know that. And this is very nice shot of Bam. I like it, the colors and such. I'll fight. Of course, he will fight for his friends and people he cares about. Yeah, that's all Bam cares about. And that's why I do really like him. Okay. Okay. You got the gods, boy. Yuri would love that. Yuri. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, she was kind of affiliated. If he's talking with the same, if he's talking about the same Yuri I'm thinking about, she was kind of affiliated with his organization, right? Bolg Hake Song or how the hell they are called. So they probably know each other. Okay, did that just attack him? Or like, warning shot or something? <laughs> I'll count to ten before I leave. It's only manners to let you all get her. Okay, everything is falling now. It's probably not that hard for him to realize what they're trying to do or what is like the most cleverest thing to do against someone who is so strong, right? To gather all of them and try to attack him. I mean, that was one of my initial strategies of thinking what they, that if it would be all of them, they might be able to do something. Of course, he would not be that stupid. He lived who knows how long, right? Now I'm conflicted because I like what FUG are doing, like, but they're probably going to be new power, which probably would suck also. So, yeah, it kind of doesn't matter, even though I am for a fact the Jihad because it sucks, right? But like, Mazina is, I just want to leave this freaking tower. Let me out. <laughs> God damn it. I don't want to be here. Which is even better, girl? I don't know, who should I... Like... Root for? Oh my god, maybe for all of them. <laughs> like, we can have... FUG killing Jahad. Don't know if that would be better or not. But then, Reg leaving the tower, which might... Might let other people to... Might let other people to follow him if they would find out that he left Tower, so it's possibility. Maybe they would get interested in that too, so... Maybe there would be more people trying to leave the Tower. Yeah. Leave the Tower. It's boring. <laughs> like... Do you even get something if you climb it? Because everyone is climbing it because some kind of... Goal and... You know, something they wish for, but like, would the tower give them that? <laughs> Not all people even survive it, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just some kind of dream they want. That's why they're climbing it. Because someone told them that their dream, what they dream of, is any top. And yeah, like, some probably get something. I mean, people get rich if they like climb far away and they are strong, right? And this kind of stuff. But like, would... Does everyone get their dream? I don't know. Depends on their dreams. <laughs> what kind of dream it is, right? One, two... I don't like this. How much time is left? Not much, it's almost time. They are still trying to get to the place. Three. How dare he leaves me here? Well, it's because there are more problems and important things than you, I'm sorry. Four. Okay, missing still in the little passage. Five. Six. Seven. Bam is falling and attacking. Eight. Nine. 10. Okay, they're right here. Seeing Bam fall. Guys, I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> what? We all eh? I must be so confused. Alright, you are all here. Now it looks more fun. I don't like that grin. <laughs> so now, let's start the game. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, everyone is here, for sure. Oh my goodness. Okay, so... He is trying to do something, Mr. Devil, probably attack him. <laughs> what? Did he just jump? Babes. <laughs> okay, guys. I mean, I get it, you don't have an anything on else to do, I mean, catching the flower of Zigana, but he is immensely strong. 
I don't know, but again, they don't have enough time, right? They don't have much time. Ah. This is the... Come on, this is too quick. Come on. Ah. Uh, I mean... Cool that he just wants to have fun, that's very nice. But these people are in immense danger. They might be able to do something because it's all of them together. And they have like really cool abilities. So maybe catching him off guard or something like that. But I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know. This is too much for them. Miss saying you need to be extremely fast. Please catch that thing as fast as you can. Please. You're already there. So close. If you catch it, he would stop. Please don't kill anyone. I'm anxious. I don't know. I don't like it. Okay, so jumping to Black Post. Something happened at home, so I was not able to do the planned amount. Sorry. Okay, this is kind of long. I had planned out for the chapter to be longer at first. But a lot of things had happened, so we couldn't finish in time. I'm very disappointed as well. I apologize. It's okay. Uh, the hip-hop boy that recently came out had good response, although. I was wondering if it was okay to send out such a guy. Haha. <laughs> Are you talking about Rick? The character is revealed more in the later chapters, so just don't mind his chapter too much and just please accept him as he is. Because of Hip Hop Boy, <laughs> I got a lot of questions about Ten Gaju, and one of them is coming out on the next episode. Huh? Please look forward to it and you'll be disappointed, so let's not do that. What? Translation? As I informed you, this chapter is not very long, but because of this we might have a very long chapter soon. Oh my goodness. I heard the typhoon was coming, so please achieve the day off from school. Uh, translation? Take care of your homes, and I hope that it won't be too much of trouble on you. Thank you. P.S. Right now Zigan has flipped his body again. Yeah, I realize that. You can tell if you look at Mazina's position from when he first appeared. Ha huh? This black post is shared with the previous chapter. Okay. I mean, because he didn't have much to say previously, sadly. Okay, who do you mean, hip hop boy? Urek or someone else? Ah, I am confusion. Well, we'll see, I guess. But yeah, oh my. Well, at least it's a game. Friendly game. And I do really like his goal. Because I would be like, fuck the tower, but probably leaving it would be the best thing to do. If it is possible. <laughs> is it possible? Maybe it's not possible. <laughs> Maybe they made it that way that you would not be able to escape no matter how strong you are. Even if you are irregular. Depends. But hey, better try than do nothing. So, chapter 33. Okay, back to this. Alright, you're all here. Now it looks more fun. I don't like us. Hey, babes. Stop him before he attacks. Prince. Yes. Okay, so he is really jumping right in there. Jesus Christ. But, yeah. If they will at least try to stop him for a little bit. Because he only wants to catch Viola. Meanwhile, Missing might have catch. Might be able to catch the flower of Zigana. So they would won. Uh, triple field. Okay. Damn, he's really just jumping in. I mean, combos are nice. It depends if they would be good for anything against such a strong people. You should at least bring an opera to stop me for more than a millisecond. The strongest lighthouse in tower. 
There are only three of them. Well, that would be probably very hard to get. Yeah. Like, nice for trying, but I don't really know how good that will be for Urek. But hey, they might be able to do something, even if it is like for millisecond or less than a millisecond. Every millisecond counts because missing is right there with the freaking flower of Zigana. Don't kill anyone, please. Okay, what he just did. It's hard for me to see, maybe get him away or something. I see a lot of light, so he's definitely using Shinsu, some weird techniques. Maybe even on lighthouses? I don't know. Maybe he just like that attack it was planning to do, he just like did something to it, so it's not continuing the attack. But poor bear! <gasps> Lord Devil! Oh my god, what just is happening? Uh, I, I guess he just kicked him away and just smashed the wall or something. I don't really know what's going on, but we have to stop him, right? I guess so. <laughs> oh my goodness, only thing I see is just a freaking light. It's hard to see what is happening. Well, your fire is useful, just... Well... Be careful and not be careful at the same time. That's right, we must. Okay, yeah. A crafter is attacking. Wangnan is attacking with his bombs, which might actually be a little useful. Yeah, depends how surprising they are. He's still holding Wangnan though. Oh yeah, a lot of explosions. I guess it's because of that bomb, or grenade, or whatever it is. Would that be doing something, though? I cannot see anything. It's just so light. I mean, he might have some kind of technique which, like, might work against physical stuff, right? Ben doesn't know that, so... That's why it kind of caught him off guard and hurt him. Jesus Christ. Be careful, guys. Okay, he's falling down still. Right? Yeah, he's try still trying to catch Viola. And it seems Bam is attacking. Still falling. How long this place is? Again, I mean, it must have happened in milliseconds like Rick said you're not running away of course he's not all right yeah this is lovely this is extremely lovely uh, he seems to be very excited by the fact that he's not running away he probably doesn't meet many people but you're not running away instantly but Bam cannot, because of the situation he is in. Well, now we've excited him. <laughs> then I'll show you the legendary power. Oh no, please stop, don't. Don't do that. Nope, but don't. No legendary powers, please. Someone stop him. That's probably not possible, but hey, at least you can try. Supreme Kings. Who the hell is... Naming their attack like that. That's a huge ego, but he probably has a right to do that, right? Supreme Kings. Floral Butterfly. Oh yeah, I, I guess this is Bam's attack, the Floral Butterfly, I assume. Okay, Missing is still trying to catch this again, uh, the flower. Girl, please. Please! Girl. Faster! Faster, girl, or everyone is going to die. Supreme King scorching fist of death. That sounds lovely. That really sounds lovely. Scorching fist of death. Piercing technique. Okay, <laughs> meanwhile she's just flying after it. 
nice scene. Like super serious forward stuff and she in the background <laughs> trying to catch it. Scorching face of death. Man, didn't you say you're just going to try to catch him? But again, Bam is attacking. He got really excited. Oh, now he notices missing. Even he notices missing. Where well, here goes the surprise. I assume. <laughs> she must be so confused. Like, uh, what? What am I jumping to? What is going on? What is happening? What is this? And kaboom! I guess it's dark fist colliding, touching. Both freaking techniques doing something. I assume. Okay. Swoosh and crumble and splash. Okay, we see the flowers again on here. Oh, did he just catch Misang so she would not get hurt and he got hurt? Oh, goddamn, bam. He caught her, probably even, yeah, shielded her. I hope she's okay. But he seems to be kind of devastated a little. Not good. Yeah. God damn. This seems like a lot of blood. And he's just standing here. Oh, but he protected her. That's so cute. Bam is just too nice. He's willing to risk everything for people he cares about. Ah, <sighs> beep beep. We'll arrive soon. <laughs> He's holding it. Poor thing. Viola. Oh, all of them are running here. So, sir, what are you doing? I mean, it's very brave of them, but I care. Yeah, um, it would be natural to be scared, though. Like, there are real, uh, this guy, though. Uh, uh, uh. Poor guys. I feel that they must be, like, the power. <laughs> he is a bad thing. Must be so scary. So, what are you doing, sir? Hmm. That's strange. I didn't expect there to be another flower. Well, it's a good thing though. Oh, so this is another stuff. So that other stuff is like growing from what? What are you trying to do with it? Hey babes, <laughs> why is he calling the babes? <laughs> Take this flower. What? Okay, that's very really nice of you, I guess. Yeah, we can see it here. What is it growing on? What does he plan to do with it? Now that his little one has been born, I don't need that flower anymore. I'll just give it to you. Take it. What are you talking about? What does he need it for? That's very nice of you. Why? And, and tell him when he wakes up is the reward for his courage. Okay, I guess he got kind of impressed because Bam was really willing, I mean look at him, he's all bloody, was willing to lose everything for saving Missing and for fighting him straight up, like not running away. I guess he doesn't see it often. Yeah, probably not often at all. All the people must be so scared of him. Oh, I guess he got impressed. It's the bad magic. Everyone falls for him. I knew it. <laughs> At least that's a good thing, I guess. But goddamn, we need some healer or something because Bam looks pretty wrecked. Jesus Christ. The courage to protect a teammate while facing the strongest man. Yeah, so exactly that. Yeah, because 
Ura could kill him easily. I guess he like it. That's nice to know. Like I said, we doesn't see it often. People are willing to let their teammates go if it is like messing with their goal. Like they don't care that much for their teammates. But Bam does. He's willing to die for them. He loves them so much. He cares so much for other people. And it's not very common here in the tower. Because sooner or later people are just like, it's about me and me only. Yeah. <laughs> He's still going with it. What the heck is he all about? Look on his back. Oh yeah, they haven't seen it. What's wrong with him? Why is he trying to look cool? Well, technically he kinda cool. He is. Yeah, he is. Ma is he not? Guys, you have a story to tell about. For sure. We encountered Rick Mazino and we survived. Yes. <laughs> Rick Mazino? <laughs> they must be so freaking confused. Okay, so he already got out and what are these people? His squad. Oh, these people. Huh? You came out on your own? Okay, so it's this people. So they knew about him? That's kinda... I mean, yeah, because... They... Whereas the rankers were coming in. And they, they sent regulars. Good they meet. So what now? Like, you're trying to... Do something about him? <laughs> Can you? Huh? You're all here to greet me. How nice of you. <laughs> Did you use the regulars as bait to catch me with the rankers? Shitty move. A very shitty move. But isn't one versus three too unfair? Hmm. Do you know how many rankers we've lost so far? Maybe he doesn't care. Maybe he really doesn't freaking care because Johan and shitty people doing their stuff, you know? Because Johad and 10 great families and this whole system is very shitty. So he doesn't give a fuck about these kind of people. Yeah. So don't think this is unfair. Die, you deep. Okay. So they're attacking. I feel like they're all going to die. Because he got excited. And then he was like, hmm, actually, I like this dude. He was very brave. I'm not gonna kill him. Or even his teams, teammates. But these people, annoying. No, what I meant was bang, bang, big bang, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep, this was amazing. Ooh. <laughs> this guy, if he survives it, is going to have a pretty big trauma. It should be at least one versus, versus thousand, so that I don't feel embarrassed talking about it. Yeah, like, what did you thought? It's Urek Mazina. Have you not heard how strong he is, irregular? What? How could these people be so stupid and dumb? Especially when they sent so many rankers in and all of them died. Maybe if all these stupid people which you died would get together, but again, everyone is for themselves. They rarely work together because everyone just wants to do things for themselves. Their own fame, their own money, their own whatever. Right? Good day, meet. You weaklings. <laughs> right? You jerk. Dude, you should just back paddle and hope that he would let you live. Oh, I guess have a nice flying time? If he survives that, he's very fast. Oh, he just kicked him to the ground, okay. I thought she was just going to blast him off. Well, ground, it's still a bag of Zigana, hmm? He doesn't seem very impressed. <laughs> oh, hey you, do you know what is this? You mean about this little thing? It looks like a baby Zigana. 
So, what are you trying to do with it, Rag? It's a baby Zygiena. Yeah, thank you. Logically, I'm sure you've heard of it but have never seen it before. Because you plucked all the flowers before the babies were born. How? Oh. oh. So, the flower sprouts, or appears, and the babies are kind of born out of that with it? But because they were taken and the babies couldn't be born. Yeah, kind of similar-ish what I was thinking about. Not the same, but I was really on the right track. I mean, it was all these details, like they were mentioning, like, the flower of Zygena is super rare. Then this Zygena is, like, also a super rare creature. And them coming in and just taking it out. Then we saw this little baby Zygena having it on its back. And I was like, hmm, I feel like they are killing it. <laughs> Kinda by taking all these flowers or crystals out of it. Yeah, he doesn't seem very happy about that. You guys know that the babies are born suckling the nutrition from the flower. Oh, so because they are taking it, they cannot survive. They don't have enough nutrition. That's so sad. Yeah, stomp him to a little pancake. These people need to die. <laughs> I like animals, so I really felt sorry for his baby Zygiena, whatever. But you hid that fact and harvested the flowers. That's a shitty move. So, you were worried that the babies would grow up and make the jewel less rare. How did you know? No command on that. That's such a ch shitty move, like, come on. Poor little Zyganas, they got almost extinct because of your shitty people. Yeah, just kill him, please. Sorry, but I'll take these babies. When more Zygenas appear in a couple of hundred of years, Zygena flowers will just be another common jewel. Aww. 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 I like it. <laughs> I like it. Okay, Rek. Okay, Rek, you're making me like it, but that's just one side of you. I'm sure there are sides which I probably won't like, but hey, I like this. Ah, although their beauty will never fade. True. You bastard, do you think we'll let you get away after all this? Who the heck are you? And that you can you not see, please, sir? Are you blind? I feel like he doesn't give a shit about Tower and their rose either. Also, Johat, either. Like, excuse me? <laughs> yeah, I... That's why I don't like... How stuff in Tower works. So greedy, Jesus Christ. So greedy, they don't care about anyone and anything, just themselves. I brought it on my back. Mazina. What? Really? If you've got complaints about what I did, come see me. Yeah, we can find it out if you have guts enough for that. I mean, yeah. It's written there. Can you not see? Maybe he cannot see. I don't know. <laughs> I mean... Though they might have thought that person who is willingly having that written on his bag is just trying to fool everyone. But hey. I'm not afraid of anyone. Yeah, good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, so where the hell where the hell he is right now? Go in. Well done, Mr. Mazino. Tell Yuri that I got it. Yes, sir. And thanks for your hard work in filtrating the floor as a test director. No problem, Mr. Mazzino. Okay. Nice work, I guess. Nice job. So? You have a wound on your face. What? <laughs> that probably doesn't happen often, too. Yuri? Yuri wanted it. Interesting. I mean, Yuri is kinda rebellious <laughs> in her rebellious mood right if it is yuri jahat i mean who else is yuri they probably wouldn't have much important yuri here don't underestimate the rankers of course you are way stronger but they've also been to the top of the tower yeah you need to be careful like i've said a lot of underestimating 
but it's probably from BAM. Yeah, I guess that. These three jokes wouldn't do anything. No, this is from him. The potential... He's better than I thought. <laughs> and that moment... At that moment, something... It wasn't just for the fans. Oh, he's very excited. He likes it. Yuja, you've got something to do. Huh? There is a baby slayer in FUG. Keep an eye on him. Yeah, he got interested in Bam. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. He's very interested in Bam. I mean, Viola. He doesn't know Bam and Viola are the same person. If he even knows Bam because he got like that thing from Walkai Song that once he got to some part in the tower, he should contact them or whatever, but like they don't know that, I guess. Oh, they're all so worried. Well, this is getting complicating. We have a few G, which have insurance with Bam Viola. Now it's Reg Mazino who got interested in Bam Viola. Ooh la la, all these strong people. I mean, like I've said, Bam has it in him. You just can't help yourself to like him or be interested in him. Something fun is going to happen. Or I... Uh, I bet. I bet it is. Okay, he's getting some clothes. Cool, I guess. But do we have something in plan? With the fun happening? Oh, that's all. Okay. Okie dokie. So... Jesus Christ, <laughs> this was kinda hectic. <sighs> yeah, they weren't able to do much, but at least Bam kinda was able to get Mazino's interest. Because the way he's acting. Like I said, it's just... You can't help yourself, because he's so different than all the other people in the tower. And people kind of gravitate toward him. Yeah, which is funny. He is like a star. He is. People just naturally gravitate to him, which is funny. And that's what Rachel wants to be, but she doesn't have the quality, sadly. Yeah. Well, Rachel, I think you found your star. You're just too blind to see it. God damn. <laughs> Looks co looking so scary. Yeah. Bam is so admirable, right? Even at this moment, he was still trying to save Miss Sung. He just, he just don't have it in him to let someone die in front of him. Especially someone he was with for a little and knows them and cares about them, right? Nope. That would not happen. I hope never. And Rex saw it and I was like, okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool, you dude. I like it. Your guts. Very determined. So he just left them. Meanwhile, all the, these three idiots were waiting for him. Thinking they can do something. Like, what? <laughs> Who they were thinking is inside? Like, come on, guys. Do you think some, uh, like, douche idiot without power would be able to take all of these rinkers like nothing come on and then he left with babies again i'm so glad they're i don't know what they plan to do with that but like i guess just not make it rare anymore or they just don't want like these people to have happiness with the travels <laughs> jewels uh, the worst thing is that they knew it what they are doing that's like so horrible yeah, fuck the tower. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> I think like the more I will see, I mean, is it even possible to not like them even more than how I feel about them? I just hate them. <laughs> I just hate them. I would probably be doing everything against them as possible. And the better thing is trying to find out as much people as possible, organizations which are against Jihad and Tover, and kind of like helping them, because that would mean more chance, right? I wonder if there is someone like that, which is like helping more groups which kind of 
operate on their own but have kind of similar ish similar ish goals or are working against jihad i would definitely do that <laughs> secretly silently but i would definitely do that because fuck the jihad <laughs> that poor thing though <laughs> please He's also very pretty, this dude who's working with him. Who are you, boy? By the fact that Bam was able to scratch Mazinon. Nice work. Nice work. He got surprised. He did not expect that. Underestimating, again. <laughs> he thought Bam is just defending himself, but he was attacking him. <laughs> he was attacking him while defending himself. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Yep, there are many people keeping an eye on you, Bab. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you are becoming such a star in the tower. Young, but rising. Oh, you little cute thing. The piggy. The flower is again a piggy baby. I like it so much. Also, what is this like insignia? With the wings. And cube, which looks like lighthouse. What is that? Interesting. Well, next blog post. And so we'll learn the Emperor's scorching fizz of that. Yeah, it looked pretty dangerous, but didn't want to use it due to the embarrassing name of technique. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hip hop boy is the most searched word. People, seriously. I really can't understand your taste. Do you love nipples or something? So he is talking about Greg Mazzino? Well, anyway, this chapter was actually a compressed form of one and a half chapters. So I deeply regretted my decision of not taking a break last week, crying tears of blood. So I did more. Oh my god. I actually thought about extending it to two chapters. <gasps> But that would make the story way too slow, so I just went ahead with this. Besides, even if I make the battle scenes longer or scene, all we would get is the hippo boy doing windmills. <laughs> so I just work on the verge of becoming a zombie. Yeah, I can imagine that. My assistant, Sweet Pea, who helped me a bit with coloring last chapter, helped me greatly by coloring most of this chapter. Big thanks. The sweet bee. Of course, we're all people obsessed with pay and beef, but I would like to thank sweet bee once again for taking on work even in the most difficult of times. Please cheer on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that he has an assistant. That's good to know because he's doing so much work, overworking himself. Good. Although, we do work by taking parts like this. Basic coloring is just literally filling the page up with color, so it doesn't affect the style of the drawing or the end result. Hey, but it's helping a lot. Rather, it gives me more time to work on the main thing and increases the chances of the end result being better. So you don't need to worry about that. No, <laughs> I'm just thinking that it makes you easier for you and you're not at overworked. Starting from next chapter, we'll be wrapping up this arc and then I'll take a short break. That's okay. After that, we'll slowly cross over onto the much-anticipated big arc. Oh my goodness. Please anticipate it and have a nice week. P.S. Although some of you may have noticed, Urek is a bluff addict. It's terminal. <laughs> On top of that, he's actually super strong, so there's no way to fix it either. <laughs> so he loves to bluff? Really? I mean, why not? Why not? Bluffing is fun, right? You can get things out of people easily that way. These two chapters were very interesting. I started to like Ureg a lot, now I'm not that much scared of him. Still, he's very dangerous and very strong. But I like that he saw what is Bam capable of, what kind of person he is. And he kind of like it, because it doesn't happen often in the tower. He probably was against so many people, which just easily throw others at him so they could save their lives, <laughs> right? 
and which were probably very scared of him when they saw him. But Bam is like, yeah, there's nothing else I can do and I'm gonna do it. And also I'm gonna save this girl because I don't want to let her die. Even if it would probably mean me dying. Yeah, because he got hurt very badly. Jesus Christ. That's very admirable. That's why I love Bam. Even, like, with his goal to find Rachel and his friends, he can't just let other people die. <sighs> which is... Which is a very problematic character stuff in the tower. He needs to get way, way stronger, even though Urek is, like, super strong. To be able to protect everyone around him. Right? Because things would probably get more crazier. And I feel like if there would be more people dying, it would be very hard for Bam. Yeah. Very hard. We'll see. We'll see if something like that would happen or not. Please don't happen. But I have a feeling that it would happen. I guess that is all. I think I said everything I wanted to say. I just... I enjoy Tower of God a lot. <laughs> a lot, lot, actually. For all of its little things. And especially war building characters and lore. Yeah, the lore. The lore is very interesting. So, well, I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.